Hi, I'm Aaron Christensen. I work at the Goethe University Library in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm uh, talking today about a feature I wrote for Julia 1.5 called the C-Call Macro. Um, this, uh, this macro um, is different from the, the C-Call function in Julia in that it allows a more uh, intuitive Julia syntax. It allows the use of var args of different types. It checks that function pointers are in instances of uh, pointer to C void. And it takes away one feature of C call, which is that it does not support choosing an LLVM calling convention. It just uses the default calling convention. Um, so to, to unpack those a little bit, um, if you have a, a C function like this, um, size t, string length, um, and then the argument is a pointer to char or a C string. Um, in C call, with the old C call, you would write like this, C call, and then you'd use this symbol for the function name. I believe it also supports using a string, I'm not sure. Um, then the return type is the second argument a tuple of argument types is the third argument, and then the remaining any remaining arguments given to the function are the um, arguments to the C function. The C call macro um, makes the call look a little bit more like a Julia function. Actually, it looks even more like a Julia function signature. Um, so it's C call macro um, strain length. And then you just call your argument, and each argument has its type attached to it. And then the return type is suffixed, as it would be with a uh, Julia function signature. Um, in terms of var args, uh, now you can have them of different types, which means you could use um, C standard libraries printf function. Of course, if you're uh, Using Julia, Julia already has a printf library, so it's not so necessary. I should also mention that um, really the implementation in the back end of doing this, um, allowing it to accept different kinds of var args, was uh, the contribution of Jameson Nash, uh, one of the core developers, and I believe the second top uh, committer in the Julia Git repository after. Uh, Jeff Bizanson. Um Yeah, so one thing you'll notice here is that there's a semicolon um, between the regular arguments and the var args arguments. Uh, this was not my first choice of syntax, but it was the the consensus of the people who reviewed the code. So that's what we we ended up doing for separating the regular arguments from the var args. Um, it also has sanity checks on function pointers. If you have a pointer of a different kind, uh, instead of having a more cry cryptic runtime error message, um, it raises an argument error. Um, the interpolated function not function was not a pointer void, but pointer u and a. Um, this is implemented as a runtime check in the macro. However, it should compile out in most cases with dead branch elimination. Um, oh, by the way, note that using a function pointer uses the uh, variable interpolation syntax or the symbol interpolation syntax um, that's common with eval or string interpolation or whatever. Uh, dollar sign there. Um, now there's no support for the LLVM calling convention, C call can take an optional second argument, which specifies a calling convention, uh, which can be used for different things. Um, it's not used very much in Julia, and it was decided to leave this out. Uh, you could implement your own with the code I have down here at the bottom, because there are hooks actually to support a calling convention, and the the functions that build up the macro, it's just not part of the macro syntax at this time. Um, so now that we've gone over the the, uh, the features of the C call macro, I wanted to cover 
the story of how it uh, how it sort of came to be. So in the beginning, I I just wrote this macro for myself um, because I I thought it was convenient to have the argument types next to the arguments, and to have the call just look a little bit more like a Julia regular Julia function call. So I made a thread about it on the Julia forum. Um, oh. um, Stephen Car or Stefan Karpinski um, chimed in right away and said, "Oh, I, I proposed something like this in the past." Um, Chris Foster came in and said, "Oh, maybe we should maybe we should go back to that and have it in base." Um, so. I asked about, you know, I've never made a pull request to Julia before. Is there something special I should do? And they suggested I make it its own package. Um, so I did that. Uh, there's a GitHub repository for that you can go look at if you want to. It's all based around um, the original C call. It's not anything too interesting. Um, and then I didn't do anything with it for quite a long time. However, when I went to JuliaCon 2019 last year, I was inspired to actually get the PR done during the hackathon, which I didn't quite finish, but I got a lot of helpful advice from uh, the core developers. Um, var args came up in this discussion. Uh, Jameson said I should base it on the underlying foreign call rather than C call because that would be a little bit more flexible. And I would just have to par patch the parser and LLVM uh, or the LLVM, the part of Julia's code base that deals with LLVM to get it working. Um, however, I don't know C++ or Scheme, so I did not do that. Anyway, I made a pull request the week after the conference ended. Um, you can see there was a lot of discussion and some really good code reviews, especially from Chris Foster. Uh, I wrote some more tests. The var args discussion came up again. Um, and I told Jameson that I wasn't really the person to be implementing that. So he um, graciously did all the work on that, which was probably more work than I actually did on the whole thing. In terms of lives of code, definitely more work. Um, so we went back and forth on it. There was some more code reviews and it was finished. And then nothing happened for four months. Uh, I. My impression was that the core devs were working on getting a release ready. Um, and anyway, I wasn't upset or anything because it was it's a pretty big thing to be putting on this in the in base if people actually start using it because it's one more thing to have to maintain. So it's the kind of thing you want to get right. Um, but anyway, it kind of was forgotten. And then uh, uh, someone in the and the pull request came and brought it back up again and said that we should finally get it. And then within a week of it being brought up again, it was triaged and pulled into master. And now it's in Julia 1.5. And that's the story of the C call macro.